Okay, from the 1200 meter marker. Towards the inside, a Akaba is right there, Salesman with a good position, and Glinka in the all black goes off to lead them. They are followed by Zap the Stars, that's in the yellow, then the grey, Dirty Champagne's about three and a half, four lengths off the leader. Then National King Alibaba's Jewel, the yellow cap, then what a boyki friend of freedom, and Royal Security Jet. And it's Glinka taking them along, and leads it by about a half. A Akaba is second, and Salesman's at the rail third. On the outside is the great Dirty Champagne, Zap the Stars in the yellow, then National King in the pink. Then two or three lens back to Wadaboyki, Alibaba's Jewel, the others are way back. Glinka the leader from Akaba, Salesman goes in, the great Dirty Champagne on the outside. Zap the Stars is down the inside, and then National King. Dirty Champagne, Glinka, Salesman on the inside, and National King tries to get into the race. Salesman and Dirty Champagne over the last hundred. Down the inside, Zap the Stars. But it's Salesman down the inside, Zap the Stars. Salesman and Zap the Stars. Salesman just made it. In seconds, Zap the Stars, Dirty Champagne and National King. Number two, Salesman is just going to make it home, a stride off to the line, and Zap the Stars got him off to the line, but number two, Salesman will just prevail and will win a short head decision. So number two, Salesman just gets there, second to catch the, uh, second to Zap the Stars, and the apprentice there claiming the four, Dirty Champagne, National King Glinker, further back in the running, Akaba, Alibaba's Jewel, Royal Security Jet, and then came Wat Aboyki and Friend of Freedom. We'll take a look at that head on shortly, and you'll see Glinkers in the black. Two off the left is the winner, Salesman, the Rebel King. On the extreme left hand side in the yellow is Zap the Star. So it comes down to these two. The grey is Dirty Champagne. Salesman just the leader and is holding on. And towards the inside, Zap the Stars. Anton changes his stick from right to left. And Salesman just holding on. Zap the Stars comes home late and will just fail. So number two, Salesman, that ends up the Toad favourite at 1 Rand 80. And look at Zap the Stars. Number 12 was paying 65 Rand a win, 10 Rand a plays. Until the running of race number five. And the fifth race is over 1,600 on the poly. Back to the studio. Just seen the running of race number four. That was over 1,200 meters, the first leg of your jackpot. And number two, Salesman's done it for the Charlie Led stable. It's a four year old son of a Rebel King, Anton Marcus, on fire. He's uh, brought this one home under a top ride. There was uh, one runner flashing through on his inside, but he's done enough from Stallgate 2 to win. I've got one of the representatives from the Charles Led stable. Come in, come in, my man. Uh, Salesman uh, did very well this evening. Top ride from Anton Marcus. Well, I'm very happy to see Anton is riding this horse so well. And he was doing very well at home. Uh, well done for all the connections and Charlie happy at home. And uh, there's definitely some more in the tank. They seem to have uh, got this one right. Yes, he got him very nice. The old stable are coming nice now. That's great here. Thank you so much for representing the stable. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. All right, there we've heard it from the representative of the Charlie Led stable. I don't think uh, Anton's going to make it back here. Then uh, Anton Marcus isn't here. He's uh, ridden another winner aboard number two salesman. So he's opened up the jackpot uh, for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uister. Uh, Charlie Led, Anton Marcus, they all team up. That was the first leg of the jackpot. We'll see you back for race number five.